if you're into manual testing or you're doing automation testing using selenium playwright cypress puppet any tool you need test data right without test data you cannot even continue so hi everyone my name is mukesh atwani and today in this video i will talk about how you can generate your test data in just three step and i will say within one minute you can generate any kind of test data that you need for your automation testing or for manual testing right now what we do if i have to use some kind of test data in my testing I will go ahead create excel sheet or I will use some third party libraries and I will generate this test data. If you don't use any library, you will create this test data manually. That is again a very tedious task. So today I am going to introduce auto test data which is uh, created and started by Sanjay. So thanks to Sanjay for creating such awesome tools for the community. In order to continue, just open autotestdata.com to any browser and you will be getting this kind of template where you can choose the type of data that you want. So the first column is uh, data type, then the property name and the option. And we also have a delete option in case if you don't want any field. For example, I want name and uh, phone number, email, currency and range. I'm not selecting anything. All these are default columns that I will be getting or the default values I will be getting. In case if you want to use anything else, you can select from this. For example, I need the straight address. I will click on add and one more column has been added. Now come back and select which data format you want. Do you want a JSON format, XML, HTML, CSV, Excel? Let's say I want an Excel format. Then by default value is 10. Basically, I need 10 records or 10 rows. So if you click on generate, it will generate this complete data so that you can see this in a preview section and it is generating this test data for you so if you just click on copy okay using this clipboard you can copy and you can paste here and yeah we are good to go suppose if you okay just a second copy once again so one two three we are getting all the records in case if you want to refresh just the moment you hit on refresh it generated the new uh, test data for you and you can continue every time you click you will be getting the fresh data which you can use now in order to download this click on the download button and the test data is ready within a few click so depends what kind of data you need you just need to select the data format how many rows you want what columns you want and we're good to go for example, I need 20, so I can change this number to 20. This time I need in JSON format. Plus here, if I see, I don't want, let's say this currency. I want, I don't want this number. I need name, phone number, email, street address, and maybe I need the region. Add, I need the country. Add, like this you can add n number of, you know, fields and you can continue. Suppose you want the email with a specific, uh, expression that i want all the email ids at gmail.com or hotmail.com or maybe specific email let's say i want in gmail.com okay so i just given uh, one additional option same thing you can apply for others as well if applicable come and anyways this is json format maybe i will change this to 30 click on generate and yeah here we go we got the complete data this is the data we got now you can click on this copy you can see copying to clipboard again go ahead and paste here and you got the complete data so we have generated 30 records within few clicks and if you see this is what we have given right we want every email which is ending with gmail.com and it has created so right now it's coming with at the rate so if you don't want one additional at the rate just click on gmail json again this time maybe I will keep 5 generate yeah we can copy we got it and in case if you want the file just click on download and we got the JSON file downloaded in a similar way irrespective which programming language you're using so as of now it supports PHP Ruby Python Perl and other programming languages let's say I want an XML now the data is available in XML XML format you can download and continue yeah so very quick and very easy definitely it will help manual testers and automation testers as well so if you are completely new to this then I would highly recommend you to give a try share with your friends and colleagues those who are still generating the test data manually 
obviously there are multiple options to generate fake data right using third party library but i found this is one of the easy way to generate test data for your testing purpose yeah that's all about this video if you like this video then definitely do share with your friends colleagues subscribe this channel and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care